As some of you guys might have already realized, I am back on the carnivore diet. Well, it's more of a modified diet because I still have to test a lot of my keto recipes. So it's not 100% true carnivore, but it's the majority of it, I only eat meat. So I'm gonna share with you guys three of my go-to dinner recipes when I'm on the carnivore diet. These are all rib recipes. I'm gonna show you how to make pork ribs, short ribs, and beef ribs. So let's get started. Now these rib recipes are all easy to make and they're all delicious and they only involved animal products, unless you wanna add a few little extra things, which I'll suggest in there if you're not 100% strict carnivore. But as always, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you guys get notified every time I post a new video. I will be coming out with more carnivore diet recipes. So if you are on the carnivore diet and looking for more meals, then make sure you click down below to subscribe. The first recipe I'm going to show you how to make is pork ribs. We're going to be making up pork ribs in the slow cooker. This is a great recipe for a weeknight when you don't have a lot of time and you want to start dinner before you get home. These create fall off the bone, juicy pork ribs. So here I have one slab of pork ribs. Now my crock pot would fit in two slabs of pork ribs, but I just did one just for the, sh the sake of showing you guys how to make it. Now it's suggested to take off the membrane when you cook your pork ribs. It's not required, um, but it does, if you take it off, it does allow for more of the seasoning to penetrate into the meat. Leaving it on actually helps hold it together. So if you're really trying to get fall off the bone ribs, like cooking them at a very, very long time, then I suggest keeping the membrane on. Plus it gives you extra nutrients. But if you're wondering how to remove the membrane all you would do is slide in a butter knife underneath the membrane around like the third or fourth rib and then pull up to release some of the membrane stick in your fingers underneath the membrane to loosen it more and then paper take a paper towel and just start ripping off that membrane fortunately these ribs already had the membrane off the butcher at the grocery store did it so i didn't have to worry about that at all Next, we're gonna season both sides with salt and pepper. I actually did add some garlic salt to this. I know it's not strict carnivore. If you wanted to do strict carnivore, then just add salt. Once your ribs are seasoned, we're gonna head over to our slow cooker and I'm gonna pour in half of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Now the vinegar is just gonna help pull out some of the nutrients from the bone. It actually creates its own bone broth by doing that. So, and it's a, just a delicious flavor that it adds to it too. And then we're gonna add in our ribs. And I wanna put the ribs just sticking up so that the outside lines the crock pot liner. This actually helps to cook and caramelize that outside part of the meat. If you lay them down flat, they just kinda of sit into the apple cider vinegar and it might not caramelize the way that you want to. And you wanna cover it and cook it on low for around six hours. After six hours, you can see that the meat has really pulled away from the bone. It's nice and juicy still. It's not overdone, it's delicious. Next, we're gonna be cooking up some beef ribs. Now these are beef ribs that I'm smoking in my Traeger. The first step is to season your beef ribs. Now, once again, you can use a mixture of salt, pepper, and garlic salt. If you're going more of a modified carnivore, if you wanna stick with straight carnivore, just use salt. season all sides of the beef ribs. I don't really worry about the membrane when I'm cooking beef ribs because I'm gonna cook them for several hours at low temperature on the Traeger. So I really want that membrane on there so it holds everything together. In my pellet grill, I'm gonna heat it up to burn off that excess old chips in there just to get rid of that old nasty smoke. And once that's done, I'm gonna add on my beef ribs to the grill. I'm gonna smoke these for 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we're gonna increase the temperature to 250 degrees and let it go for two hours. After two hours, I'm gonna check on them and then I need to apply some moisture to the meat. So I recommend doing this in a spray bottle just because it just allows for even penetration throughout your whole meat. But we're gonna add in one cup of beef broth and just a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. 
If you don't wanna use the apple cider vinegar, you don't have to. I just like the flavor that it provides. You could use 100% beef broth if you want. And the beef broth that I'm gonna be using is by Bare Bones Broth. I just use their packets, mix that up, and put it in my spray bottle. I'll have it linked down below on where you can purchase these beef broth packets. After those two hours, we're gonna sprint our meat with this apple cider vinegar beef broth mixture. This just helps keep it moist and so that your meat doesn't dry out. And every hour you wanna check on it and give it a good sprint. Now, my spray bottle actually started to break um, because I think it was only made to be used for oils instead of broth and, and actual liquids. So I just moved to just basting it. So every hour you can baste it if you don't have a spray bottle, just baste it with that mixture. You wanna cook these until the meat really starts to move away from the bone. Mine took around six hours to be done. The longer you cook them, the more fall off the bone, delicious, tender, juicy the rib meat will be. The last way I'm gonna show you how to make ribs is we're gonna be doing short ribs and I'm gonna do braised short ribs in the oven. I'm gonna start with around four pounds of short ribs. So these are around eight um, little short ribs. The thing that annoys me about short ribs is that maybe like two out of the package has a lot of meat on it and the other two ribs hardly have any meat, but that's just how it goes. Now these short ribs, I'm gonna only season with salt. Salt them around all sides. We're gonna sear our pork ribs first just to give them that nice golden crust. To the bottom of a cast iron pot, I'm gonna add in some fat. Now the fat that I'm gonna use today is lard. This is by Epic. It's a clean base lard. It's just really what I had on hand, but you could use um, some butter, there's tallow that you could use, bacon grease, if you have any leftover bacon grease will work. You could use oils too if you're not really 100% strict carnivore and wanna use some avocado oil or some coconut oil, you could do that. But you just need some fat to help sear the outside layer of all of the beef short ribs. We're gonna sear these over medium heat for around like two to three minutes on each side just until they build up that nice golden crust. You might have to work in batches because you don't want to throw in all of your ribs. You need to have like at least like at least like three quarters of an inch to an inch spacing in between each rib, just because if they're too close together, they start to steam and then they, they steam cook instead of sear. After your ribs are done, what I like to do is add a little bit of hint of flavor and it's a teaspoon of garlic paste going in there. Once again, don't do this if you're strict carnivore because most of the time you're trying to avoid garlic and onions. Um, but just, I like to add on a little bit of garlic paste. It just adds some flavor, but you don't have to do that step. Next, I'm gonna add in some broth. I'm gonna be using chicken broth, but if you have beef broth, that'll work, or trotter broth, which is pork broth, that works here too. Add in two cups of broth and then bring it to a boil. And then if you need to, add back in the rest of your ribs. Cover it and then we're gonna bake this in a 325 degree oven for an hour and a half to two hours. You wanna cook it just until the ribs pull away from the bone. And that's it. These are some easy keto and carnivore rib recipes that you guys can make for dinner. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new recipe. Have a good one, bye.